Welcome to the website of the Diocese of Birmingham Catechetical Institute. This short how-to video will tell you about some of the features of our website and how to use them. When you first come to our webpage, this is what you'll find, our homepage. You can also return to it by clicking this button. The FAQs page is what comes next. Here you'll find answers to some of your most common questions. The next page you'll find is our objectives page. Here you'll find the reasons why the Catechetical Institute exists. The next option is our curriculum. That's the core of our page. We'll skip it for now and come back. The how to use page is exactly what you're watching now. It's going to be this embedded video telling you how to use the features of our website. And the contact us page is just some information about how to get in touch with those who belong to the Office of Religious Education. Let's go back to the curriculum section since that's the core of the site. When you visit the curriculum page, you'll see an index. These are links to our different sessions, all of the different presentations which make up our curriculum. Uh, the first one is an individual session. It's Introduction to the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The rest are called modules. These are collections of sessions. The first four relate to the four pillars of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, and the later two relate to catechetical methodology and church history. Let's go to the first session, the introduction. When we go here, you'll see the title of the session at the top, a link back to the curriculum, an overview of what this session is about, this video presentation. We have an embedded video beneath the actual presentation, a link to the catechist certification portion of this presentation. That's for those people who are pursuing certification within the Diocese of Birmingham. We have other media. This is a downloadable QuickTime file of our uh, video presentation. Uh, this is for those people who would like to have uh, a copy of the video and not have to uh, stream it. That's also good for distribution if you'd like to put this on a disk for those people who might have um, no internet access or limited internet access. And we also have an mp3 file for those who would uh, like to listen to it. Uh, at the bottom we also have our resources. These are links usually to church documents uh, that are referenced or uh, leaned upon in our video presentation. Uh, you can click on them and go right to the source. So back to our session page. Uh, if you press play, the session will begin. Uh, for those who um, have no hearing impairment or are native English speakers, uh, it will be enough to just start this and watch it through. If there are those who are hearing impaired or speak another language, these are some options available to you. First of all, you can click this CC button, close captioning. That will bring up our English track. I'll show you an example. Our age. Why is that? Well, the, the intent of the council. That's our session presenter, uh, David Anders. And as you can see, uh, his words have been captioned for those who might have some difficulty hearing. For those who don't speak English, I'm going to go to the Translate Captions section and choose the language which you would like these captions translated into. We're going to pick Spanish. And you will see immediately that that subtitle has been changed into a Spanish translation. Now, this could be very helpful for those who have a Hispanic community in your parish, uh, or for those who just uh, are more comfortable using another language. Uh, this feature includes many languages that you can translate the text into. Okay, now for those who are pursuing diocesan catechist certification, here's what you do. You're going to go to the Catechist Certification link and click on it. That will take you to our Moodle portion of the site. Moodle is an online learning environment. I'm going to log in using a test account. All of our uh, participants in this program will be given usernames and an initial password. The password will have to be changed once you log in. As you can see, it's already prompting me to change. 
I'll have to retype my assigned password and then put in a new password. Be sure to follow the instructions that are given here. Your new password must have at least eight characters, at least one digit, and at least one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, and one non-alphanumeric character. So this has to be a pretty secure password. If you don't, do not follow these instructions, uh, Moodle will prompt you and you will have to, uh, you have to input a, a password that conforms to, to these standards. I'm going to save my changes. Well, I mistyped it. There we go. My password has been changed. Once I continue, I'll be taken right to the Moodle portion of our session. This is still called Introduction to the Catechism, but now we have a response forum and an assessment quiz. Response forum is a place where you and your fellow catechists can gather and you may post some of your ideas about uh, the presentation and reply to each other and what you uh, might think about the uh, the presentation and what you've learned or if you've thought of something to uh, to go along with it uh, we ask that you post at least one original um, thing in this forum and have at least one reply but that's certainly just a minimum and we want to encourage you to uh, work together to develop a sense of community there on this main page you'll also find the assessment quiz you can always go back to intro to the CCC if you happen to get lost to get to this this page. Let's go to the assessment quiz. Uh, it says thank you for viewing introduction to the catechism. The following exercise is meant to reinforce key elements of the presentation. Feel free to rewatch the video. So the whole uh, whole purpose of having this assessment quiz is really just to uh, to get these things more concretely in mind those things that are presented in our video. I'm going to attempt the quiz now. Um, got our questions. There are 21 of them in all. Uh, I'll answer some of these questions now. I'm going to answer them just at random, not even reading. And uh, just for this video, I'm going to go ahead and finish this attempt before I'm actually completed. I've not gone through the entire quiz, I'm just doing this uh, to, to show you how. Uh, before you, you finish your quiz, you tell it to submit, and then you have to reconfirm. This is to make sure that you uh, don't give any wrong answers. Uh, you can go back and change them if you'd like to. So, Okay, so here you go. You can see that this first one, because I'm answering at random, I have missed. Uh, we also have uh, the correct answer here and uh, where it says incorrect please try again it says click here to review that portion of the video presentation if you click on this it's going to take you exactly to that part of the video which relates to the question so if you'd like to uh, review those particular parts of the video and not have to watch the whole thing over again uh, that's a really nice feature uh, we'd like for all of our uh, participants in this program to take the quiz um, and get 100%. So if on your first try you don't succeed, well, then we will try, try again. You can see uh, this first attempt I got a, a zero out of 100, uh, but I can re-attempt the quiz. And you can do that as many times as you like. Um, if you have any questions about this, uh, if uh, there's any problem that you run up against, if for some reason you can't get into our, our Moodle portion of the site, remember on our page we have our contact us. Please contact me, Daniel McCormick, Catechetical Media Administrator. My email address is bhmci.org at gmail.com and I would be happy to help you. May God bless you as you use our session materials, and please give us any comments or questions you might have. Thank you.